Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of installing FRC SIM for 2015. So we've already made our live USB in the last video and we've now booted into it. Um, I selected the try without installing option in the boot menu but you could have just selected install Ubuntu that would have been fine. Um, anyways you should have been presented with a menu that looks something like this. We're going to go ahead and hit continue and continue. You can select those things if you want, but you don't need to. Okay, now here comes the tricky part. So, since I'm on a laptop here with two hard drives, and now of course two USB drives as well, um, installation type is going to get complicated. So we're going to select something else. What we want to do here is install Ubuntu onto our external flash drive or SD card or hard drive or whatever it be. Um, or possibly internal hard drive, that's all your choice. But in my case, I've got two internal hard drives that I don't want to touch, the USB drive I'm booted off of, and then another USB drive that I want to install onto. So it's rather complicated. However, it's rather simple to figure out which drive is which. You can open up the menu here, which uh, the file explorer here, and plug in your USB drive. If you've waited until this point to plug it in, then you should see something appear once you plug it in. So I'm going to plug it in now, and we're going to see what happens. Hopefully, something down here will pop up. This is 32 gigabyte volume. There we go. So now we know that Ubuntu can find this USB drive. So if I close out of this, oh, unable to mount. Hmm. We'll see if that becomes a problem later. We'll hit continue, and then we'll be presented with this, which is um, essentially a layout of all the partitions and all the drives. So SDA1 is one of my internal things, and it's got Windows, so I'm going to ignore anything that's SDA1. I'm also ignore anything that's SDB, um, because that's Ubuntu. Sorry, I, I meant SDA, not SDA1. Anything that's SDA, don't touch. Anything that's SDB, don't touch. Um, we're looking for a third one. Now, it's not here right now, because Ubuntu wasn't able to uh, mount my, my, my flash drive, but we can fix that very easily. So if you go and open up a terminal, which you can do by either searching for it here or hitting Control alt t um, We can look at which devices are currently um, known on this computer by typing ls slash dev. So there's a lot of stuff here. Um, the ones we care about are these, the ones that start with sd. So now notice there's something called sdf. That, I'm willing to bet, is my flash drive. So if I remove my flash drive, and run this again. Haha, -ha, it's gone. And if I plug it back in, it's back again. Okay, so we have SDF. So we know we know that SDF is the right one. So what we're hoping to be able to find when we do this is something that says SDF. So we'll give this a minute and here it is. All right. Now, the tricky part here is you need to select the right partitions and the right drives. So here I've selected SDF as my device for bootloader installation because that's my flash drive. And then we're going to make a couple partitions here. So first of all, remove the existing FAT32, which is probably what it came with if it's a brand new flash drive. Um, if it's not new, just make sure you don't care about anything that's on it and delete everything that's there um, using that little minus button. Then we're going to add a swap partition, which doesn't have to be big. Um, 600 megabytes is a decent size. Um, you can look up online. Um, it's all dependent on how much RAM you have, but 600 is fine. Okay, and then we're going to make another small one for the boot partition. And then lastly, we're going to use up the rest of the space for the main operating system, which has a mount point of slash and is XT4. Okay, so it should look something like this. And when you hit install now, it should warn you that the following things are going to be formatted. Yes, yes, yes. You can ignore this because it's swap. I don't know why, but for some reason it always formats all the swap partitions. But since there's no data there, it won't be a problem. The main uh, thing we're looking for is these two. So if we hit continue, we're going to be presented with a bunch of you know basic fill out your username and whatnot so I'm gonna let you do that on your own um, once it loads and uh, from here we'll move on to uh, setting up our new Ubuntu installation with FRC SIM
once this uh, finishes loading and we're sure that everything is good there we go okay so you'll just proceed through this and enter all the information you want and you should be good to go